Good morning. So today sees the release of the five pound coin. Um, the first, I believe, it's in the um, Rock Legends or something music icons um, range issued by the Royal Mint. Um, <clears throat> you've got four of the original, you know, packaged version coins to um, take your pick from. I believe that the brilliant uncirculated versions. Uh, also come with a free poster. Um, then you've got the half ounce, um, the one ounce silver proof, quarter ounce gold proof, one ounce gold proof, although the one ounce gold proof has sold out. Uh, I imagine these are going to be extremely popular and I would strongly suggest to collectors to grab these while you can because I think these will sell out very fast regardless of what other supposed coin experts are telling you but it brings us on to a legal um, an interesting topic that uh, are five pound coins legal tender and it's very easy to find this information anywhere on online um you can five pounds are legal tender although they're generally issued as a commemoration of an event um, you can try and pay with it in a shop, but you'll find they're unlikely to accept it. This is because legal tender does not mean they are obligated to accept it. So it is perfectly legal tender. doesn't mean that you have to accept it as payment. There's an ongoing pub argument of to whether Scottish money is legal tender in England. The problem is that legal tender is misunderstood and it's rarely used in legal terms. The answer to the argument is this. Scottish banknotes are legal currency throughout the UK. This is very different to legal tender. In fact, no banknote, not even those issued in Scotland, is legal tender in Scotland. So to explain it in a bit more, Legal tender means if you attempt to pay off a debt in full currency, that is a legal tender. You cannot then be sued for repayment. There's restrictions on smaller amounts of coins, but we'll get onto that in a minute. So for an example, if you choose to pay for a small valued item in a shop with a £50 note, that is legal tender. The retailer's got no obligations whatsoever to take them. It's up to them what currency they accept. The same applies to Scottish banknotes. While legal currency, no retailer is obliged to take them. So we come back to the £5 coin. It is legal tender, but there's no obligations for a retailer to accept it. And to, to further enhance this, um, if anybody's attempted to pay for anything using a £50 note, whether it's in a pub or in a shop, uh, I've personally, I've been refused uh, several times for them to accept it. So the first, again, we've established five pound is legal tender, but other coinage and banknotes, um, it doesn't have to be accepted as payment. The status of notes and coins is as follows: in England and Wales, all Royal Mint coins and Bank of England notes are legal tender. In Scotland and Northern Ireland, only Royal Mint coins are legal tender, not banknotes. When it comes to smaller denomination coins, there's more complexities. For example, 1 and 2 P's are only legal tender up to the value of 20 P. Hence, if you pay for something at 40 P in, in coppers, you are not using t legal tender, which legally you should be. So purely for research reasons, 1 and 2 p's you can use up to 20 pence, 5 and 10 p's up to 5 pounds, 20 p's, 50 p's and 25 p's is legal tender up to 10 pounds. Um, uh, well, let's just see if we've got anything more of it interesting here. Before we move on, a point of interest. Did you know there are coins to the denominations of 20 pounds, 50 pounds and 100 pounds? But once again, while these are legal tender, they are intended for collectors and unlikely to be accepted in shops. 
Now, the laws regarding legal tender were set in stone in the Coinage Act of 1971. Effectively, this legal act precludes you from paying for anything that costs more than 20p with just 1p coins, although it is doubtful anyone will adhere to the law, yet allows you to buy a £300,000 car or other item entirely with £1 coins, as they are legal tender up to any amount. The main reason why legal tender should not concern us is, in many ways, a term designed to prevent people from paying for expensive items or small coinage, and also to ensure that debts were paid legally without recourse. So, I mean, that basically is explaining it to you. So, when you're seeing all this about legal tender, it's absolute nonsense. Any coin or note issued by the Royal Mint is legal tender. However, just purely because it is legal tender, that does not mean that it has to be accepted in any of the banks or, or, or shops. That's a totally different argument that you're talking about, which is legal currency. So again, it's totally different to, you know, the, the argument. Um, and again, you know, as it explains furthermore on here, and this is easily found if you just Google it. You know, I mean, paying for something worth 21p in coppers, that <laughs> makes it not legal tender. So, it's yeah, it's a tricky thing. But I think for somebody who, um, let's be realistic here for a minute anyway, um, those of you that have invested in one pound, uh, five pound coins, ten pound, uh, twenty pound coins, fifty pound coins, you're not likely to go and spend these anyway. So the argument really is pretty irrelevant. Um, but the fact is that any coin made by the Royal Mint or note is legal tender. So thanks for watching. Um, as always, please, if you're not already subbed, please sub to the channel, hit the like button, feel free to drop any comments down below.